first probable case of Zika this year in Cameron County has now been confirmed. Health officials say a Laguna Heights woman acquired the virus. At Channel 5's Daisy Martinez live in our Cameron County newsroom with the details. Daisy. Cameron County officials are calling this the first locally transmitted case of Zika by a mosquito this year. They're calling it probable because the woman also tested positive for other viruses. Rebecca Lopez says she still can't believe one of her neighbors in Laguna Heights is the first confirmed case of Zika this year. Pero no, no sabía yo. Y hay que tener más cuidado entonces. Cameron County Health Administrator Esmeralda Guajardo tells us the woman tested positive for the virus about two months ago. Guajardo tells us more testing was required because she wasn't showing symptoms and tested positive for other viruses as well. In the end, the additional lab results point to Zika. It's the first locally acquired case since December 2016. And so a lot of time has passed, but People need to, this, this, if anything, this should be a reminder to people that they need to continue to be vigilant. They need to not let their guard down. Lopez knows while the recent rain has been good for her plants, she realizes it's also created habitats conducive for mosquito breeding sites. She's hoping her neighbors will take note of this latest case and do their part. Pero ahorita, como llovió, el zacate está otra vez creciendo de volada. Guajardo says they have been spraying for mosquitoes and also setting traps. None of the mosquitoes have tested positive for Zika. Right now, she adds the woman that tested positive is not believed to be a threat for spreading the virus. Guajardo also tells us that in places like Laguna Heights, where the population is so dense, people have to be extra vigilant. At this time, she says it now makes seven total locally transmitted cases of Zika. At this time, she doesn't predict that the CDC will issue any kind of travel warning for the area. Live from the Cameron County Newsroom, Daisy Martinez, Channel 5 News at 6. Besides this locally acquired case, there have also been 10 travel related cases. This is a Channel 5 News Extra. In November of last year, the first locally acquired case was confirmed out of Brownsville. A woman tested positive for the virus. Then in December, five more people tested positive, including men, women, and minors in Brownsville. And today, officials confirmed that first locally acquired case for this year.